So hello everybody, it is Power Week. It means that the Power BI desktop team has released a new Power BI desktop update. This time it is March 2020. Okay, so into this video I'm going to review in detail page navigation and real tree because there are some limitations that are there I found that I think you should know. And uh, we're going to go through the other updates quickly so you know what they are, but they are very self-intuitive. And at the end, we're going to talk about the other updates, because I think there are some gems there that you probably should know. If I'm not mistaken, that is okay. Let's get started. Let's get started. So page navigation, guys, if you've done page navigation with bookmarks before, you know it was a lot of work. It was perhaps not a lot of work to set them up, but to keep them updated, it was tough. So the fact that there is an action on a button now that is page navigation is very, very welcome. But we've now been spoiled because when you had page navigation with bookmarks, you could set states on the bookmark. You could see if the filters will follow or not, and if the data will change or not, and blah, blah, blah. So with page navigation, things are not the same. So for example, here, if I go to players, I have a bookmark. Let's change that to page navigation. <laughs> and it's taking me to the destination players. If I now click on Saudi Arabia, and I want to know if with the new page navigation, filters are kept or not. Let's find out, shall we? So if I click, control click on players because we are on the desktop, it keeps the navigation, okay? It, it keeps the filters. But if you want, for whatever reason, to send your users to a page without the folder supplied, for what I can see, there is no way. I might have missed something, but I don't see that it's possible, okay? So that is the limitation that you need to be aware of. So if you want to have control, more control about what happens when your land, when user lands on the page, you need to continue using bookmarks. But still, this is a great update. It is. And I don't know if they're going to use to add that functionality to page navigation buttons. We'll see, okay? Number two, it is a drill through button. Here's the thing, when you were doing, they have now a, again, button action that is a drill through, which I didn't know what to think when I heard about it. And you know, they, they have talked about it before. And here you see drill through preview. And I was like, oh, how, how, <laughs> how are they going to implement that? One of my biggest complaints with drill through, I love the feature. I use it all the time, but it's so hard to discover. So the fact that you can create a button that will say drill through details or, or whatever, or see details like they did in the video, is a good thing. The thing with drill through that, again, I we've been spoiled with is that you can have multiple pages to drill through. Let me show you. So when you see here, I, I know I have some read through pages here. So these players would have a read through to teams, but it could have a read through to, to matches. It could have, you know, read through to different pages. For what I can see of the way this was implemented, if you go here, you'll see that it's just, you can only choose one. It's a drop down. And I, I actually love the possibility that you could go through a main page and then you can see, okay, go through employees or go to products, read through products or read through different things, not only one. Will they change that? I don't know. I hope so, because I really love the possibility to read through multiple pages. The thing is that the functionality is still there. So if you want to send your users to just read through one page, this is perfect. Otherwise, you have to use the old read through functionality. So yeah, there's a limitation that you definitely need to know about. And I wouldn't mix both. If you want to have a report where you have multiple pages on one, use only one method. Otherwise, you would confuse your users to death. But with that said, great update. OK, next update, we have, uh, let me see, multi-column sort. <laughs> That's quite funny, because the multi-column sort applies to tables. You can, you know, if you click on it, it, uh, it will sort. And then with shift, the next one, it will short, um, sort the next one. When I read it, I just read the titles, you know, oh, we have a new update. I went and read the titles, and it was like, 
I was hoping that this was going to be done here. You know, because very, very often I want to actually filter here, ascend in here, and then, for example, ascend in there. Oh, did it do it? No, I don't think it's doing it. Maybe it is remembering. No, it's not. Anyhow, maybe if I shift click. No, no, it just keeps one. And it's a pity because I use this a lot just to, when you, you know, creating DAX measures and trying to understand why my data is wrong. You, you want to filter by, um, sort by different things to see the data. And I've been missing that for the longest time and I was like super happy, but it's not there, it's here. So I will have to create a table and then do it here, which is fine. Before I was going to Power Query and doing it there, to be honest. So perhaps this is better because I don't have to go to Power Query. So that's for that. Then there is a dual access line chart. Be careful with those, they can be a bit confusing, but otherwise you have them there. So there is a search field on the filter pane in case you have a lot of filters in there, so you can find them quickly and you can disable that or enable it in the options and settings, okay? So that's actually quite useful to know that the composition tree, there are some formatting options. I haven't tried it yet, I'm afraid. So I have to make a video as soon as I try it, I, I promise. Um, there is a new DAX function. <laughs> I call it Koala because I can't say, I can, I promise by, by tomorrow I will be able to pronounce it correctly. We'll talk about it tomorrow. And there is a, the query diagnostics is generally available. I have to make a video about that. I am going to make a video about that, but not that they said they're going to do a, do a deep dive. I wait for that and then we will review the deep dive. Okay. And uh, here's the thing, they said other features, and then they say enhance data set metadata. People that have been working with analysis services and we've been working in BI for a long time are super excited about this because I think for them it's like open Pandora box, <laughs> not Pandora box, but you know, it is open in Power BI box and having, being able to access what is inside with other tools. I, I'm going to be honest, I don't fully comprehend how good this is going to be, but as soon as I get my head around it, I promise I'll tell you all about it. For now, I, I'm a little bit clueless, but for what I hear from people that have been in this business for a long time, this is a very good update and it is probably. So stay tuned for that. And they have some announcement this week, they said, so this month, so we'll see what it is. The next one is this, using default system credentials for web proxy. And it sounds like, you know, the aliens came from Mars and attack us, to be honest. But here's what I think it means. Correct me, please, if I'm wrong. But from what I understand, when you were using the query diagnostics or trying to use it and you didn't have administrative rights to your computer, you were not able to use it, okay? So what they've done now is they've opened the possibility for admins to allow for this feature to be used without having administrator rights for your computer, okay? So talk to the admin, make sure everything is configured right so you don't get into a lot of trouble. This is what I think it means. Just let me know if that's not the case. What do you think about this update? My favorite feature, it was, and <laughs> I was asked on Twitter and I said, my favorite feature is the, uh, the sort uh, feature when I thought it was something else. <laughs> I have to change it now. My favorite feature is going to be page navigation, maybe. What is your favorite feature? Let me know in the comment box. I'll see you again tomorrow with the Koala DAX function. <laughs> Until then, take care. Bye-bye.